Hi everyone! Hi! Today we're going to be doing a Q&A with each other on the topic of self-healing. Because mm-hmm. I think self-healing is something that people are interested in nowadays. So we're basing our questions off of what we think you might want to know about self-healing. So let's get started! So for the first question, what is self-healing? Self-healing, okay. To define self-healing, I think it's the ability to problem solve. So in terms of our health, whether that be a physical ailment or an emotional ailment or a mental ailment, we all have problems. You know, I think it's safe to say, you know, even I have problems too. You know, I'm not perfect. We all have problems. But there are some people who know how to solve those problems. And then there are some people who have completely no idea what to do. So they go to doctors and they take medicine and they like say, someone, please help me, please help me. I don't know what to do. So I think self-healing is this ability for us to solve our own health issues Mm -hmm. so i would say that everyone is born with that kind of innate ability just some people know and believe in it and some people don't so it's not like some people are superior than other people and that's why they can self-heal everyone has that ability and function just some people know and believe in it so the energy gets activated while some other people don't so yeah in a nutshell i would say it's our innate ability to solve our own health issues, whether that be a physical health issue, emotional health issue, or mental health issue. So my next question for you, Gabby, this time is, is self-healing even possible? Mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of people who like, okay, that sounds great, but I doubt it. Is it possible? And if you think it's possible, then how do you know? Mm -hmm. So I think self-healing is definitely possible. I think from my own experience and from, you know, a lot of people that I've heard that have been able to self-heal themselves. It's definitely an ongoing process. It's not something that happens overnight and you're just like, oh, I'm healed. No, it's an ongoing process your entire life to, you know, fix your mental health, your physical health, all those things. So it's definitely possible if you really connect to yourself and really focus on what you need. So for example, for my own self-healing journey, it's been a journey and in the past two years, I feel like I really started focusing on my mental health and my physical health. So I've been seeing a lot of changes just physically. I've been getting stronger and mentally I've been handling my emotions better, things like that. So definitely I've seen that in myself as well. Okay, now I have another question for you. So what is your favorite form of self-healing? That's a very good question. There are many ways that someone can use to self-heal. Even in brain education, there are so many different ways. And then outside of brain education, there are so many other ways too. So I would say from my own experience, my favorite way is brainwave vibration. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know what that is, I'll drop a link in the description below about a video that Gabby did that describes brainwave vibration. So you can check it out in more detail. But for those of you who already do know, or maybe you can come back to it after you've seen the video. (laughs) The reason why I like brainwave vibration is because, you know, like the work that we do, we're on the computer a lot. Right. We're editing videos and writing things like we're always on the computer. So without me even realizing it, like I feel my posture just kind of like scrunches like this and my neck pops out and so i get a lot of tension in my neck and shoulders and especially my head because i'm not moving you know like i'm thinking 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 like working my brain so much so my head gets so hot and i feel so much tension in my neck and shoulders but the reason why i like brainwave vibration is through the tapping of your lower abdomen and then shaking your head side to side it really brings me centered into my energy center down here and it lets go of all this tension i'm carrying in my neck and shoulders because if i go home and i sleep with it like i'm carrying that day's energy garbage Mm -hmm. heaviness into the next day right so just like i take a physical shower to clean myself like i like to do this and just get rid of all this heavy energy that accumulated in my neck and shoulders just from my posture and all the thinking that i do so i would say that is my favorite it's the one that i've seen a lot of great effects with it helps my sleeping it helps me feel more Mm level-headed more grounded so yeah i would say brainwave vibration My next question, Gabby, is then how would you motivate somebody to start Mm self-healing? So what I would do is first realize that everyone is so different and that that you have to be patient with people. So 
My biggest thing would be you have to realize that, you know, you have to kind of put yourself in their shoes. And if you really want to help them, you have to learn what they're going through and see it a little bit more from their eyes instead of just offering advice and just you know saying things to them you have to really kind of understand them a bit more to really help them and i think most of the time the most important thing with self-healing and motivating somebody to self-heal is to help them realize their value in some way so for them to see that they can heal themselves, they can do it themselves, they can get better. So that is a big form of motivation for self-healing. And I think it's very important to give someone you're motivating to self-heal concrete help. So concrete exercises, meditations, trainings, examples. They may not like every single form that you give them, but try different things out with them, but giving them concrete you know, exercises like brainwave vibration, like Linda mentioned. So things like that, I think, are really important for motivating somebody. Okay, my next question for you is, is self-healing mainly for the body or the mind? I would say self-healing is for both because the mind is you and the body is also you. There are different parts of you, but you can't really separate them even though with words we can separate body and mind but they're all part of you as a whole mm -hmm. so i think self-healing is done to you as a whole that includes body mind spirit your arms your eyes your ears everything is included so i think um i think yeah self-healing is just um, your whole being because i think in the west especially in the West, we like to compartmentalize everything. Like if you have a problem with your arm, oh, it's just an arm problem. Mm -hmm. But we don't think that this arm is connected to your heart. So, you know, like we don't really right. like make the connection that like you are connected. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, even though people like to separate like, oh, these exercises are just for your mind and these exercises are just for your body, I think the body affects the mind, which mm -hmm. affects the body, which affects the spirit, which affects everything inside of you. So I would say self-healing is fruitful. Okay, so my last question is, how can I manifest healing energy, self-healing energy for myself and others? So with manifestation, the main thing is where the mind goes, energy follows, which is a brain education principle that I talked about so I can link below the video and you can learn more about it there. But basically where your mind goes, energy follows it. So if you focus your mind on something, if you focus on your mind on sending healing, loving energy to yourself, to some pain you have in your body or things like that, or to another person, if you send them energy, if you imagine they're in a golden capsule of loving, bright, healthy energy, your intention and your energy will go there. So that is the main principle of manifestation. So what do you guys think? Yes, if you have any other questions, we only shared a little bit of what we know about self-healing, but if you're a healer yourself and you have some tips or if you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments below. We'll look at them and read them. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in another video. Bye. Bye.